Hello and thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In January this year, I made a commitment to use up my entire makeup collection and I call this project Use It All Up. To be able to use up my entire makeup collection, I set up a bunch of rules. You can find them in the description box below. By the way, if you hear some clicking noises, my husband is playing Last of Us 2. He loves that game. Do you? Yeah. I am filming this video from our Sofia flat. We've decided to travel back to Bulgaria. My husband works as a pastry chef and because he's been on furlough now for a few months and basically he got told that the restaurant he's working at will probably not be reopening in July, we decided to take a break and come back to Bulgaria for a while. I work from home so it doesn't make a lot of difference to the company that I work for, where I'll be working from. And we're now in quarantine. Basically the plan is to stay in quarantine for two weeks. This is something that we're obligated to do anyway. And then visit family and friends, travel for a while, enjoy life a little bit. The coronavirus situation is much better in Bulgaria than it's in the UK currently. So it makes sense for us to want to come back for a while. And believe it or not, when we decided to travel back to Bulgaria, one of my first thoughts was <laughs> which makeup am I going to bring with me? Which says a lot about my obsession. And because we decided to travel and bought the tickets fairly quickly, I didn't have a lot of time to plan and analyze what items I'm going to be bringing with me. So I kind of grabbed a bunch of stuff and I did the analysis after we arrived. And today I'm going to be showing you what makeup I took to Bulgaria, why I did it, and what it says about my current relationship with makeup. By the way, please excuse the mess in the background. We haven't had a lot of time to tidy up. So as I said, I did an analysis and I found out that the makeup that I brought to Sofia can be separated into four categories. The first category is makeup items that I use every day and that I have one of. So those are pretty much makeup staples for me and by having one of each I mean that I normally have one of that type of product open at a time. So it's not like lipsticks or eyeshadows. In this category I have my eyeshadow primer. This is what's left of my Urban Decay primer potion. I'm about to use it up and that's why I also brought the replacement which is the unopened NARS um, smudge proof eyeshadow base. Another product in this category is my mascara. I'm currently using the Sumptuous Extreme by Estee Lauder and because I've already pulled the stopper out and this is on its last legs I also brought the replacement which will be the Lash Slick by Glossier. Another product in this category is the Stila Correct and Perfect corrector palette. I actually have two staples in this palette. So one is the green corrector and the other one is the peachy one, but I had to bring the whole palette. Next up is my CC cream, also a staple. Another staple is the Professional by Benefit. My Tarte Shape Tape Concealer my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, my black eyeliner pencil, my lip balm, my brow pencil and brow gel. So these are all products that I use pretty much every day and I just can't do my makeup without them. The second category of products that I brought with me are products that I might have more than one of, meaning I have more than one products of this type but they're staples anyway and things that I tend to use pretty often. One such product is the gel eyeliner in Black Track by MAC. I also brought my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Pillow Talk and the lip cheat in Berry Naughty. My brown eyeliner pencil by Urban Decay. The white eyeliner pencil that I'm currently using is by Maybelline. One of my red lipsticks, this one is by Charlotte Tilbury. Look how cute. 
and a red lip pencil to go with it. And I also brought this pink lip pencil by Urban Decay. So those were mostly lip pencils and eyeliners, products that I tend to use in combination with other products. Did I say four categories at the beginning? Because I actually have five categories. Either way, third category is products that I'm either about to use up or that I'm working on getting more use out of. It just didn't make sense to leave them behind because we might not be back for two months. So one of these products is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. You know I've been using it mostly as an illuminating primer, but also sometimes as a highlighter, although it doesn't suit my skin tone. But it's almost used up now. Another product that is almost used up although it's not technically part of the project because I received it after I had filmed my inventory videos, is this Clarence Slip Oil. You can see that it's almost gone. I also brought my Sleek Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. I have a very exciting update about it. Another product that is almost used up is my NARS Orgasm Blusher. This Blue Gel Eyeliner by MAC is what I have been working on for the month of June. I also brought my Living Luminizer by RMS, my Naked 3 palette because there is an eyeshadow that I'm close to using up, which means that it might take me another couple of months, of course. This Lancome concealer that I've had since forever, the oldest lipstick in my collection that I'm determined to use up by the end of the year, and these two eyeliner pencils. So quite a lot of products that I'm focusing on but then again, we might not be back to London for a couple of months. The next category of products are products that I'm actually looking forward to using because I think they're very suitable for the summer and for some of them I've been waiting all year so that summer can come and I can start using them, if it makes sense. One such product is the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette. It's the mini version and it's very warm toned. I don't usually wear warm tones but I think it will be good for the hot Bulgarian summer. And to go with it I've brought this coal by Guerlain. I just think they go well together. And then this month I bought a new lip product which I'm not going to show you now because I'm keeping it for the monthly update. But according to the rules of my project, I'm allowed to buy a new lip product whenever I've used up three of the lip products in my inventory. So I did it this month and it goes perfectly with the palette that I just showed you, but I'll show it to you in my next video. And then another product that I think will go very well together with that whole look is my Too Faced blusher and my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo is something that I use pretty much all year round but the highlight is something that I especially like to use in the summer because it's golden. Another product that I tend to use in the summer is this Perfecting Loose Powder by Essie Lauder. Especially in the Bulgarian summer which is quite hot. My skin tends to get oily around the nose and my way to cope with that is by powdering it. All of the products in this category so far can be used together and they can form one look and I'll probably do a video with that look at some point. And then I have three more products that I think are perfect for the summer. Is this Coralie lipstick by Estee Lauder um, in Fierce Beauty uh, that I'm wearing today. And then this chubby stick by Clinique and a pencil to go with it. Summer. So my camera battery died and I had to charge it for a while. Hope this doesn't look like a whole different video. Anyway, the fifth and last category is a category of products that I brought to Bulgaria because I just couldn't bear to leave them behind which clearly shows that I'm still obsessed with makeup and I don't think having products that you just don't want to be separated from is an indicator of a healthy relationship to makeup. It kind of makes me feel like some crazy bag lady. 
And it's not that I won't be using those products. I will be using them and I am using them, but that's not the reason why I brought them with me. The reason why I brought them with me is because I didn't want to be apart from them for a couple of months. It will probably come as no surprise that one of those products is my favorite eyeshadow palette. The Vice Reloaded by Urban Decay. I also brought with me all three of my Fenty Kilowatt foils that I use as eyeshadows, my Glossier Cloud Paint, my RMS Beauty Magic Luminizer, this Shantikai eyeshadow, another eyeshadow by Color FX, and this Beauty Booster by Trish McAvoy. So that's all of the makeup that I brought with me to Bulgaria. I counted it, and you know that I count each pan in a palette as a separate item and by this method of calculation I brought 103 things with me, 103 items, which is a bit too much I think. And even if I count each palette or each duo as a separate item rather than however many pans there are in it, it's still 50 objects, makeup objects that I brought with me. It's clearly too much. In my ideal fantasy future, my relationship with makeup will be different. I won't be taking things to trips with me because I don't want to leave them behind. I won't be having so many things that I'm focusing on and the makeup that I want to use and the makeup that I currently have and am using will be more or less one and the same. So I won't be having so many separate categories and I really want to be able to put all of my makeup in a wash bag like this. Currently it doesn't fit. Even the makeup that I brought here doesn't fit in this and I want to be able to fit all of my makeup in one bag or two smaller bags. <laughs> However, I'm not being hard on myself and I, I'm not judging myself, if that makes sense. I'm just observing myself. I'm trying to learn in the process of using my makeup and I'm enjoying the process and I hope that so are you. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video with me. Have a lovely day. Enjoy wearing your makeup. Enjoy living your life.